The latest information is into the Weather Channel. We have your update for the three month forecast here heading into the rest of the summer and taking a look at the start of fall. Let's start by looking at July and the rainfall. It has been incredibly wet across the southeast into the Ohio Valley, still very dry, especially across the central US and the west. What that has done? Well, that tropical moisture connection, that dominant high, that pattern has kept that going. That has allowed those temperatures in the southeast and the south to be below average for the month of July. Not so much in the northeast and into the plains and the west, where there, drought conditions persist. And that really is the key word heading even into August and September persistence. We still have this dominant high pressure, that tropical moisture connection, the clouds, the rain leading to below average temperatures for much of the southeast, still above average for much of the rest of the U.S. Heading into September, finishing up summer, heading into fall, we still have that high pressure. The big question is the wild card will be how much influence any tropical systems will have. If we have more tropical systems in fact influencing the mid-Atlantic and into the southeast, you have more clouds, more rain, and cooler temperatures. You get that to shift a little bit into the Gulf and now you have cooler weather there. We are looking ahead though to September being below average once again for much of the southeast and mid-Atlantic staying above average through the central plains. Coming up in the next month we have a full look at the autumn forecast.